r slash ask reddit what is a fact about the human body that not many people know about the hyoid bone is a bone not attached to any other bones in the human body and is only considered the anchor of the tongue it's also an indicator of the type of strangulation occurs if it's manual or physical as it's he bone that kills you slash breaks when people hang one such suicide by hanging did not have his hoid bone broken humans have on average just as many hairs on their body as chimpanzees. Human hair is just a lot shorter and finer. And mostly on my butt. There are tiny cilia that spin in a certain direction. If they spin in the opposite direction while you're developing in the womb early on, that is how you get organs transposed onto the opposite side of your body. I remember we had a doctor visit our school during careers week who said he'd met three patients with flipped organs and each time he called in a medical student and asked them to take the patient's heartbeat. Apparently, it was really funny watching the student put the stethoscope on the left side and seeing the color drain from their face. Synovial joint fluid is the most frictionless stuff on the planet, unless they've synthetic something up that recently. It's super lube. When my car door was squeaky with rust, I put some of my synovial joint fluids on the hinges and now it opens and closes perfectly. Now I just need to reattach my shoulder. When doing surgery where the doctors have to take out some organs, when placing them back, they don't have to be put back in the exact position they're meant to be. Your body kind of just moves the organs into the correct position after the surgery. Also, when you receive a kidney transplant, they don't usually remove your old ones because it's very invasive. They just sort of pop it into a more convenient spot. That's why kidney donors typically have a longer recovery time than recipients. If you faint at the sight of your own blood, you may have an oversensitive vasovagal response. The theory is that this developed as a survival mechanism, kind of like an opossum playing dead. Uh, I've just always diagnosed myself as a pussy. You can grow a new human being faster than most missing toenails can grow back. Pregnant women have 50% extra blood. Oh my god, is that why they are often said to look radiant and stuff? Yep, the pregnant glow is. More blood and oilier skin. You hate the sound of your recorded voice because it's missing the low frequency you're used to hearing. When you talk, you hear your voice as it goes to the air and back to you ear and back to you ear. It also goes through your skull to your ear, and this bone conduction mechanism transmits the low frequencies better than air does. Your recorded voice only has the air transmitted sound. That causes the dissonance between what you think your voice sounds like and what it really does. It's also why your voice will, almost, always be higher pitched than you think. No, -oh. so that means my voice sounds like the recordings to other people? Audio engineer here. Yes and no. First off, you're not hearing your own voice objectively. Your brain goes that's different and therefore gross, whereas nobody who isn't you thinks it sounds gross. Second, audio recording isn't perfect. The human ear and psyche is more accurate hearing a voice face to face than over a recording. Third, this is more just personal experience. Everyone talks different when they think they're on mic anyway. Your eyes have a separate immune system from the rest of your body, and on a lot of occasions if your body's immune system finds your eyes, they will assume they are a foreign body and blind you. Eyes have immune privilege as do the testicles. Eyes have immune privilege, as do the testicles. Diplomatic immunity for the areas that need it the most. Humans have stripes. We just normally can't see them. They're called Blaschko's lines and form along the paths of embryonic cell migration. The stripes are sort of U-shaped on our front, V-shaped on our front, V-shaped on our back, wavy on the head and face, and we have basic simple stripes on our extremities. So, why can't we see them? Usually the differences in pigmentation are so minor that it's just not easily seen, though there are some conditions that can make the striping more obvious. You can also see Blaschko's lines by using a UV light if the light is strong enough. Your brain regulates how strong your muscles are. If your leg muscles were to contract at full strength, they would snap your femur. It's why people in emergencies on adrenaline can lift cars off children. Your body is capable of great strength, but it could also severely damage you, so your brain keeps you a weak, soft bag of jelly. Why is my brain giving me a beer gut instead of a six-pack, though? Six-packs are there, just under some fat. Your stomach is surrounded by more brain cells, half a billion neurons, than the brain of a cat contains in total. It's your enteric nervous system. 
It controls digestion, operates autonomously, has its own memory, can handle its own reflexes. It has its own memory, can handle its own reflexes. It has its own senses even. It's thought to have come about because of the blood-brain barrier and the main brain being locked away in the skull, a spinal column and nerves away from the critical action of nutrition. So my stomach has its own mind. Knew it wasn't my fault I was fought. Every minute you shed over 30,000 dead skin cells off your body. I'm eating lunch while I'm reading this and wondering how many have fallen into my mossy and cheese. Bon appetite. Sounds like free panko breadcrumbs. In theory, humans could breathe liquid if it was super saturated with oxygen. It wouldn't be easy because the density of liquid being so much higher than air, so after 15 mines or so, you would be too fatigued to continue breathing. The hardest part is getting all the liquid out of the lungs so the person doesn't get pneumonia. As seen in the documentary, The Abyss. You will sooner die from lack of sleep than lack of food. You can live, depending on your current body fat and health level, for months without food. Estimates are you that you will die for lack of sleep within two weeks. I stayed up for three days straight in college, finishing my senior engineering project. After I turned it in, I crashed hard for a couple hours, but dreamed I killed a girl with a pair of scissors. My mom was visiting and found a pair of earrings and started asking whose they were, and I knew that she had figured out I was a murderer. When I woke up, I went out and told my buddy that I think I killed someone. He kind of laughed, but I sure wasn't. I felt absolutely horrible about it. It literally took me two full days before I could finally say that I probably hadn't killed anyone, but it was a full week before I totally convinced myself. I'd pulled all-nighters before and saw shadows move and the usual minor hallucinations, but this was a totally different level of weird. When my daughter was a newborn, I was very sleep-deprived. One day, she was sleeping upstairs, and I started to imagine that she was going to go down the stairs looking for me. I was a very real feeling and it took me a while to convince myself that it was impossible. Human eggs are small, but big enough to be visible to the human eye. They are also the largest cell in the human body. The sperm is the smallest. The average adult has 22 square feet of skin. Perfect size for a nice rug. You actually need a few bodies for a nice rug, because not every part of skin will come out nicely. Apparently about 20% of people have a bony ridge on the roof of their mouth. Most people's palettes are smooth with a very slight ridge. The 20% like me have an exaggerated and more pronounced ridge. Apparently, it's most common in women and Asian folk, and I'm neither, so that's neat. I always thought it was totally normal. I have it on the bottom. I always hated getting my teeth x-rays because when they told me to bite down, it would hurt. Years later, when I was an adult, one of the dentists tells me I have mandibular tori and angles, that thing you bite on so it doesn't hit them. All those years and all they had to do was angle it. Same when I was a kid and had a small mouth, those x-rays had me in pain. Swallowing has a cool down. What the fuck? Do what I'm telling you, buddy. Unfortunately, if the body listened to us, we would all die very, very fast. The surface area of the lungs is about the same size as a tennis court. That's crazy. Although it does explain how we can transfer O2 and K2 so fast. Because many people imagine lungs as balloons, while it's more like sponge. That's how you get a lot of area. A lot of very long tunnels. And then your lung surface area is some of all those tunnels in a surface. The average human erection has roughly about 130 ml of blood in it, while the average rabbit has about 126 ml in its entire body. So there is more blood in a boner than in a bunny. When you cry and your nose becomes runny, it's actually your tears. This is because of tear ducts that run from the eyes into the nose, right? 